And today is okay. a national day of mourning in Haiti, marking one month since the devastating earthquake hit. Tens of thousands of survivors gathered outside the destroyed presidential palace this morning for a memorial service. The latest death toll issued by the government, 230,000 people. Meantime, it appears the 10 American missionaries jailed on child abduction charges will spend another weekend behind bars despite a judge's recommendation that they be released. Also today, there are new questions about a legal advisor to those Americans. He is suspected of leading a human trafficking ring. NBC's producer Carl Bostic joins us now from Port-au-Prince. Carl, what can you tell us about the, the, the questions of this cloud now over this legal advisor who's supposed to be helping the Americans? Well, that's right, Tamron. It's now being said that the uh, judge uh, presiding over this case, he will now open his own investigation uh, into allegations that this uh, legal advisor, Jorge Puello, who's Dominican, uh, was himself not only involved with, but also the leader of a human trafficking ring, uh, one in which uh, Dominican women and young Nicaraguan girls were actually recruited for work in Salvador, but actually lured there for work uh, as prostitutes. Uh, just reading and hearing about this story comes as a real shock and surprise uh, for me especially uh, Jorge Puello, he was one of the first people I met when this case began. Uh, he approached me as a spokesman and as a legal advisor for the families in Idaho, and actually he was quite helpful in the beginning days, uh, offering guidance on what their legal strategy was, what the defense was, and just kind of explaining how Haitian law worked. So I found this personally uh, sh shocking because I had been talking with him on a regular basis, and now it looks as though both uh, the Salvadoran border police and the presiding judge in this case have positively identified him as the photo of the man that uh, authorities are looking for, and it also uh, turns out that uh, Interpol itself has a photo of the same Jorge Puello. So wow. it's, it's quite disturbing uh, for a case that already has so many twists. It's yet another distraction yeah. for those 10 Americans who now wait uh, uh, the outcome of a decision by the judge next week. Yeah, and, and for his part, he is saying this is mistaken identity. Thank you, Carl, for the report. We'll see what happens next. Thank you.